Hello everyone, welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, and yes, we are back with my friend Olof. And I'm here, behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Olof, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you, Daniel? I'm great, um, and we can already say this walk did not go as planned, because originally we were supposed to go to... What was it again? Svedmyra. <laughs> Svedmyra, but we ended up at Hammarby Höjden, aka the Hammarby Heights. Yeah. I've never been here before. Have you? I don't know. Yeah. You've been, yeah, you've been everywhere. Nope. <laughs> Not in Svedmyra. <laughs> Not in Svedmyra, but Svedmyra we do the next time. Yeah. So let's explore the area. We are at the green line towards the south, right? Yeah. Yes. So let's explore the area a little bit, but first let's get out of the station. And you can film that with the sun? Yeah, well, let's go that way, yes. It's a lot of glass here, so... And we don't need any bad reflections in the camera. No, 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 we don't. Or no good reflections either. <laughs> Hammer behind and here we come. Hammer be school on to the right. All right. Yeah. And this is like a small uh, center. Uh, which was built when these houses was, were built, I would guess, uh, in the 1930s. Yeah, and, and this is very typical, it seems, for the south side here. Yeah, we have it in the north, in Hegvik. In, uh, oh yes, Hegvik has one too, Solentuna. correct. And in almost all of these 30, 1930s suburbs, so people didn't commute as much as today. So people went here and bought their food and their flowers and all that. Olaf, what do we see over there in the corner? Ah, uh, is it a sushi? No, it's a pizzeria. Yes, it can, can never, the sushi can be far. Let's see if we find the sushi too. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, it is, what is it? Tuesday morning around nine o'clock. Yeah. Um, the temperature is a bit cold today. It's actually a little, little bit snowing. We have some snowflakes coming in. Perhaps you will see them in the camera as well. Yeah, it's around zero degrees maybe I would say. Uh -huh. Oh, I see a statue there in the little park. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's cross the street. There's so many reflections and windows and all that. Yes. I would say go. Yeah, let's go. But first I have to wait for the car. Oh, let's, let's go. Swedish. Let's go Swedish style. I see a Wok 88 in the corner. Maybe they have sushi there <laughs> in the Wok 88. They have Wok for certain. All right, what do we have here? Some stones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and two guys chit chatting. All of it is hard. Yeah. They look like... Avgir det på Polarisen. Polarisen? Yes, Polarisen. Avgir det. That's maybe a nice word of the day. Yeah. So this is like two people that's saying goodbye. To the third one. To a third one who's dying. So a avgir is like a... Yeah, saying goodbye. Saying goodbye, yes. Yes. But not really in a positive way. It has a bit of a negative feeling. Well, it has... No, I would say it's... Either positive or negative. Can be both, it's, it's yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Shall we go up there? Oh, uh, yes. It's less traffic. But it's not so many people. Not so many people. It is like a sleepy Tuesday morning. Everyone's at work. And but this is quite like a, I would say, an old grown-up suburb. Yes. It's always those uh, three, four-story buildings with the classic balconies over there, the older balcony. 
Olaf, this is like a perfect area for some squirrels, I would say. <laughs> I really agree with that one. It's funny because before I had my walking channel, I didn't realize there were so many squirrels. I never really looked at them, but now I'm looking for them everywhere, even without the camera, so it's funny. Little school. There we have a classic school. Yes, uh, really, yes. I would say built some years after the rest of the houses. And if you see that the, the windows are quite high yes. to, to create much light and make the, the rooms light. And it's a preschool, right? Air. Yeah, preschool. Nice trees as well. Yeah. Adult trees. That's um, like yesterday I was in uh, Ulrichsdal for my walk. Yeah. And they built a new area, a completely new area along the tracks. Oh, this is nice. They made the best out of their <laughs> tiny little garden. But anyway, yeah, so the houses were all finished, but the nature isn't finished yet. <laughs> so it looks so empty and uh, strange, actually. Then after <laughs> a fortnight with a couple of diggers and lorries and yes. guys digging, it will look really good. Yeah, 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 I mean, they will make it look good. And usually it also takes like one or two years before all the bushes grow. And So for the people that look on the map, we are at Petreusvegen. I have no idea. I was like, now Olof is going to tell me who Petreus is. But, but it sounds like one of those Latinized uh, priest names from, from the yes. 18th century. It could be, yes, yes. Nice, they still preserve quite a few green areas in between the houses here. It's nice. And they have rocks. <laughs> and the rocks, the of course, of course. And you can see that some guys have glossed in their balconies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, over the there. Climate. Yeah, we kind of create an extra room, right? Like this. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like this little winter comeback, Olaf. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it seems like there are cherry blossoms. Oh, cherry blossoms. Yes, 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 yes. That's the first one I've seen. Yeah, and you have the second one there. <laughs> oh, yes. And some other spring, a uh, oh, little bird. Yeah. So cool. And some, uh, what are these called now again in Swedish? <laughs> I'm not good with flowers. Uh, okay, not good with flowers. You're better with history than with flowers, <laughs> yes. Same. I'm Actually, I'm not good in either of them. <laughs> really nice and quiet. Yeah, we kind really, of we uh, kind of took the wrong uh, the wrong <laughs> metro when we ended up here. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking too much. Yes, and I was showing gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So tell me about the gadget. You had some kind of. I uh, had a uh, IR camera or a heat camera. A heat camera, yes. And I showed Daniel a an improvement to to keep the, his camera steady. Yes. Some kind of handle. So when you do walking videos, you kind of see this this thing where you go a little. You know, while you're walking up and down, it's kind of the natural motion of walking, <laughs> which he has a tool for that you, so you can kind of uh, remove it. So what do you think about just taking a left here? Or shall Why we go straight? Not? Why not? Why not? Let's go deep into the neighborhoods <laughs> of the Hammerby Heights. Johan Prins Weg. And again, I don't know. Well, Well, let's have a look. On, I always like to have uh, yeah. the, the bulletin board. The yeah. Ferienis Medelande is like uh, Ferien. What's a Feriening? That's a bit of a word like you mean, Scott. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like. <coughs> Ooh, a flea market. What's that? In April. Beel Pool. Ah, oh, so this is like a share car thing. Yeah. Stockholm's Beel Pool. You can share a car with people. 
in the neighborhood. Yoga, there's always a yoga. <laughs> Ooh, capoeira for children. Nice. People selling some stuff. And then they are collecting for someone in the Philippines? Yeah, for charity or something, yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, it's not cool that they need it, but it's cool that they do it. Oh, I like these buildings here. Nice. It really reminds me of Black Bay. Yeah, it's the same. Yes, in Black no, Bay, I, I used to live there, and it's the same with a lot of green in between. And, and the houses are the same too. Yes. They're built with that sort of blue, big concrete bricks. Yes, 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 Very yes. Cheap to build that. And, and which years would you think these neighborhoods were built? In the 30s. 30s. Yeah. Okay. Quite old, actually. Yeah. Stockholm was pretty rapidly growing at that time. Oh. And then we have the Lopis again. Yes, yeah, the <laughs> flea market. Yeah. Well, maybe go here. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it looks nice everywhere here, so. Sorry, yes, the 30s you were saying. Yeah. Yes. And Stockholm was pretty quick growing. How many people you think lived in the 30s in Stockholm? About seven, eight hundred thousand, I think. In Stor Stockholm? Yeah. Yes. And today it's two million. Yes. So it was probably like 300,000 in the... You have that funny round balcony up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is another one on the other side of the house. Oh, that's funny, yes. <laughs> And I guess those the guys cat for to the, the cat. right have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that when people build these. You see them quite a lot in Holland too, where I, where yeah. I grew up, yeah. So let's see where we're going to end up today. Are we ending up at a different subway station? or Because usually when I go for walks on the <laughs> southern suburb, yeah. I always end up... I look on the map sometimes and thinking, oh, okay, now I'm going to end up at, I don't know, uh, and then you know. And then it's a completely different uh, subway station where I end up. It's quite funny. No, but I mean, I look before on the map and then I think that I know, but then I don't. That's the funny thing. Oh, be careful. <laughs> don't get injured. I tried to look at the map. Oh, okay. Yes. In the phone. It's and a, then somebody it's a, hit me with a bush. I think we have maybe some kind of center coming up over yeah, there. And that's nice. Somewhat more people. Yes. I can see there is a pizzeria in. <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> and now the snow is increasing a bit. Yes, I think this is the winter saying goodbye. <laughs> this is the off head of the winter. Yeah. It's the last uh, struggles. Well, what's over there then? Jack Frost is kicking us. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. That seems to be pretty newly built. Yeah, some new apartments over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a typical Stockholm phenomenon. It says lag in here, it's bitter. It's like people want to swap their apartment. <laughs> and they want a bigger one so these people, their smaller one. <laughs> these people just got a kid, probably. And this flat is where uh, Daniel filmed a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Close to the scene park, you know. Oh, yes, on the corner where, there of Oster Mom, the yes. The prices are very high. Yes. We should email them for fun to see uh, <laughs> what are we talking about. Like. What's that, helicopter? No. Really cool today, uh, Olofu. <laughs> So yeah, someone suggested a walk with uh, with all three of us. So also we invite Madeleine and um, and me and Olaf together, so we could do it one day. Hopefully, if she wants. I don't if know. I haven't asked her yet, yet, but she was really enthusiastic. So why not? I would say. I would say normally I would disagree with tags. But this one was quite. Yeah, this arty. one is done professionally. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a squirrel. No, no it, was. it was a bird. <laughs> yeah. But yes, no, I agree. The, they, they did it nicely.
let's not always be negative it's good I will, I'll say it's nice <laughs> Hammarby leaves or goody? So leaves, that's a really typical Swedish yeah. type of it's, shop. It's the same as Lebensmittel yes. in German. Lebensmittel. I think it's more like a convenience store yep. in the UK or in England. I would say the, na the name today indicates a convenience store. But <laughs> if you go 60, 70 years back, most uh, food stores grocery stores where yes that's small oh and this Olaf this looks like a place that where has a lot of alcoholics beer or two. <laughs> a lot of alcoholics in there like they probably open 11 a.m. yeah <laughs> oh well in Sweden you're not allowed to sell alcohol like beverages before 12 oh is it 12 okay then I open 12 yeah. <laughs> a little Thai place I guess they call it the Hammerby Heights because it's quite of it doesn't look like we're on a hill but slowly everything is going up and down here yeah we're kind of walking down a hill in, in a way Hammerby should come you want to have a look at the church yes I don't know how far it is but wait for the cars and just do a sweep yes oh Olof you have a bad influence on me <laughs> the people will go like what has happened I'm joking. Uh, there is no red light to no. coming up. Here. It's okay here. I like it, a spontaneous walk. There That's is it. a lot of things that has Oh Tunobana that way. I don't know which Tunobana, <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> there's a lot of things that has sort of been born and uh, slowly died off in, in, in our life. Uh, last 200 years, like the phone boots. The phone boots, yes. The postcard. Uh, postcard, yeah. Nobody sends postcards anymore, do they? Yeah. yeah. Well, some people one do. Of, one of them is the parking meter. The parking meter as well, <laughs> yes, yeah. Blowing the leaves. And yeah, there must be many other things. Yeah. Well, the home phone, the regular <laughs> phone, like not landline. Landline, no many, many people have that. Companies have still. Yeah, we still have ours. Oh, you have it? There's two persons using it, my son and a friend of mine. Okay, no, I think uh, your generation still has it, but I think mine and especially the younger generation, let's call it the motherland generation. Yeah. They uh, they use don't use landlines anymore. Okay, the, the church that way, cool. You think it's a old school church or a new one? We'll find <laughs> I think, out soon. I think it's a middle one. A what? A middle one. A middle one. Being built in the same. No, I think you will be quite astonished. Oh, I see a little cross yeah. above the building. So, do you know how it looks, or? No. No, I mean neither. Again, a classic little green area in between. In the meanwhile, we're walking in the middle of the road, but it's okay. I think it might be that red brick. Yeah. Thing. That is the church. In Sweden, like in many other European countries. Yes. We have a system with uh, Pant in Swedish uh, giving back money for. for Pant is like a. There is a, a recycling. Uh, recycling fee or <laughs> something yeah. like that, yeah. I can look it up and, and write it in the chat. P A N T, but, they call it, yes. Yeah. And that guy we saw by the trash. <laughs> Cans. He was looking for yes. old cans and, and bottles. Exactly, he was a recycler. Yeah. You see it, uh, we can go here and there. So it's. The church is much newer than I thought. Yes. I thought it would be, let's say, built at the same time as the houses around it. But this is. 
I would guess built in the 60s. Yeah, this is not a classic. <laughs> I was, oh, is that Gluber? No, that's uh, the Tele 2 Arena. Yeah. Right over there? Yeah. I think so. Where Hammerby plays. That's why it's also called Hammerby, of course. Wow! <laughs> Best church ever! Well, maybe we can have a little view, see, on the Tele2 Arena there. Yes. Let's have a look over there. Go over there. Oh, there it is. Our friend Gluben, aka Avicii Arena. Yeah. Come walk a little bit. Oh, yes. Quite nice. So it's so uh, cool that you can see Gluben from like everywhere on the south side. Oh, these people have a good view. Have you ever been to the Tele2 Arena or, or Gluben inside? Gluben I've been to many times. Yeah. It's a quite small arena in, in that sense. It's I think it's 22,000 people. Uh, the Tele2 Arena. It's relatively I've new. Never been there. It's relatively new as well. Yeah, I've been to France a lot of times. And that's fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yeah, I've also been to a Sweden game. Yeah, I was there <laughs> last week when Sweden played towards Czechia. Oh, <laughs> that was not a fun game. Hey. Then we have a special occasion. Wait a second. What the do we see here? <laughs> yes, I hope you see this, Dustin. Dustin, we found something. Oh, bonbons, original <laughs> raspberry licorice and lemon. All right, people, the question of the day is, what's your favorite liquor all? Which one's yours, Olof? The original, of course. Yes, the original. Then I'll go for the, I'll go for lemon. And I'll take the rest. <laughs> oh, that was for especially for you, Dustin. I hope you're eating some as we speak. Oh, one fell down as well. So, all right, the Hammerby Church with a little uh, sponsored by Lekkerul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have the sign saying it contains. Ju more. Just for the record, <laughs> we are not sponsored by Lekkerul. So YouTube, don't strike me. All right, nice. Yeah, but Lekro is good. It's yeah. good, yeah. It's nice. All right, so we can go down the, the hill here again. But it said Tunnelbana that way. Yeah. We so could maybe go we can go the around there, yeah. there. Yeah. We're walking for 24 minutes. Perfect. That's a word I miss in English. Bush, broke in Swedish. The, the thing built outside or hanging in the wall, sort of. It's Burgbrock in Swedish. To be honest, I didn't even know it in Swedish. So. <laughs> like as not maybe everyone knows, I'm not born in Sweden. I moved to Sweden in 2007. So I do speak Swedish, but I'm not like completely perfect. So sometimes I miss a few words here and there. Nobody's perfect. No, but it's good that you're here so you can uh, help me out. We can't go there. <laughs> we cannot go there, but we can maybe go around. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Otherwise, we'll go back to Hammerby Heide and we'll, we'll see where we end up. Not Horst Wegen? Yeah, I think it's actually pronounced Not Horst. Not Horst, yes. I knew some people with the name Not Horst, but I okay. don't know any celebrity. Or know of any celebrity with that oh. name. Some new houses here. Yeah. Well, they look uh, designer-ish. <laughs> really? Some architect did a lot of uh, work here. You can tell. <laughs> okay, let's go down the hill there. There's some stairs. Oh, 
Yeah, it looks quite nice actually. It looks very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they are not that unexpensive. No. I don't know what's down there. If they have it downstairs and then up the I hill. Yes, they are. They are multi stair. Yeah. Maybe they have a garden down there even. Yeah. Well, we'll find out when we go around the corner, I guess. <laughs> yes. I like these balconies are big. Yes. They are more terraces than balconies. Beautiful. It's nice you can have a barbecue up there. And you can play loud disturbing music. Yes. <laughs> oh, lovely stairs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see the train is over there. At least the tracks. Yeah, at least the tracks, yeah. Maybe the station is 12 kilometers away. <laughs> I don't know. Well, no, not that right away. No. That's quite nice, in, uh, especially here on the south side. The stations are very close. If you go to the Pendel Torg, then... Um, so we take a right there. Eh? Yep. So many of these today subway tracks or uh, stations, they were actually local tram stations to start with and then they have been oh really been, been changed to, to oh. subway that was the way to build to actually increase the, the, the size of the subway really quick in Stockholm I didn't know that actually that was nice recycling station oh this is a collection of clothes and shoes for charity, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And this is where you recycle. Yes, recycling station, plastic, paper, and all the kind of stuff. You know, these houses there, yep. they remind me of some houses that are close to Solentuna Centrum. Yes, these are in comparison with where we have been walking, except for the last yes, yes. Uh, white houses. Uh, these are much newer. Uh, I would guess they are built in the 70s or 80s. <laughs> the garage road. <laughs> <laughs> the garage road, yes. So Gluben is that way, 900 meters. Oh, we see Teletu Arena. You've huh? been walking here some weeks ago. Yes. So I think we should go back to Hammerby Heide and it's 400 meters. Yeah. So we do that? Yes. 400 meters. We cross the road so we don't take the same. Yes, because if we go back to Gluben, you're right, and it's the same walk as... You're done. Lately. Already. It's nice because I never realized I didn't do a walk in Hubbabi Heuden yet <laughs> until I got here. <laughs> but as I said to you before the video started, it's hard to remember after yes. 390 walks <laughs> where you've been. Just straight ahead, right? Subway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it said a sign, so it must be that way, just down this road. So. You know, it feels like it's almost getting colder. Yeah, I think so. Huh? It feels like it's getting at minus degrees now. So, is it this way or that way? What do you think? I don't know why I'm trying to look in my phone. Yes. That, that way. way. Yeah, that, that looks like the Hammerby Centrum over there, so... And these houses, they are really new. They yes. To, to the right. I think they just moved in here. 
this is more the 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 regular um is this the one? Oh, are these open for everyone or is this with electric? <laughs> I, I think they're open for everyone, yeah. but they're not. <laughs> oh, well, they seem to be locked. No, but they're sometimes they have this uh, where you need a keychain, you know, to uh, open yeah. them or something. A ploop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do this you call them? The, the history with that is so funny because in the 30s, one guy in Sweden invented what we call, call Sofnekastet. Okay. It was a crash. The thing you just went out of your door and in. The oh, in the apartment, yeah. Is, yes. Uh, you throw down the trash in, in into the trash bins in the cellar. But then the, my grandma thing, used to have this too in Holland. Yeah. yeah. This was taken away when we start when we started to be more. How do you, how do you say that? Economically uh, friendly. Conscious with with yeah. the the trash. To, to start splitting it and so on. It's the same school we went. Yes, by. from the from the other side, yes. yes. And Marie has something here. And What's this that? is what you do in Sweden, not in other countries. Just leave your dog outside. Leave your dog and your babies outside the show. Yeah, because someone in the chat a few weeks ago was asking. Is it really true that people in Sweden leave their babies like outside a cafe and go inside? They can if the baby is asleep, but they always keep an eye on it. And so you can look through the window or something like that. You know? This do doesn't happen ev everywhere. No. It happens in some places. Not. It doesn't happen on Drottninggata, you know, like <laughs> yeah. uh, it's more in the countryside or in the suburbs. And But always when you can keep an eye on your baby. So do not worry. They're not irresponsible or anything. But I, I used to do it too, where the kid was asleep and when I was living in Baga Mossen, they had this little cafe called Lila Bagis and I used to sit there, have a coffee and look through the window, <laughs> always keep an eye on the baby. Because some cafes simply have no space yeah, and for strollers. So. Back, back then, uh, I guess it was allowed to smoke in the cafes, cafes too, too. Yeah, no, 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 it wasn't, I think. What was it? You mean back in the days? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, when did the and smoking then, ban came? 10 years ago? Or? Yeah, well, I think somewhere like that. Yeah. And I have to Google it. Yeah. But so sounds about right, yeah. So we're back at the square here, Hammerbehuiden Centrum. <laughs> Maybe it's <laughs> called like that, not sure. We've been walking for 33 minutes. I think it's a nice moment to kind of round up. Let we go over there. In the middle. Shall we do a double thumbs up? <laughs> or triple. <laughs> uh, tri yeah, well, I, I have one hand on the camera, so you... Uh... <laughs> All right, Olof, was a great walk again. Uh, you're or... trying to get the thumbs in there. We have two thumbs. And three. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs>